Hello, I'm Jensen. What's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a great day. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe. So, if you've been watching the videos from Winter Jam, then you saw that I had a brake failure in the Drift Fox. Apparently, when the driver's side front wheel was at full lock at some point, it rubbed on one of the brake lines and rubbed a hole into it. So during the Hoonigan burnout contest, bang third and went to go left foot brake and sit on the brake to do a burnout. And the brake pedal just went straight to the floor. So uh, all day Sunday, I drove with no brakes and that kind of got me thinking, when was the last time I did any brake service on the Drift Cat? I ordered some Power Stop brake pads, which I replaced the Brembo brake pads for a long time ago, almost when I first got the car. And that was like 70,000 miles ago. So I definitely need to change these damn brake pads. So got some new brake pads. We're about to head over to City Alignment and get these things installed and then bed them in and then might go for a little drive. So stay tuned, but but let's go see what these brake pads look like after 60, 70,000 miles of drifting and slamming on the brakes and doing all kinds of stuff. Let's go check them out, come on. Obviously here at City Alignment, waiting on Cisco. My guy Danny's already getting started. When I said I haven't serviced the brakes since I got the car, not the brake pad. Obviously got the Demon Performance brake rotors. It has steel braided brake lines and changed the fluid a bunch as well. Just haven't changed the pads, which is kind of strange, but now we're gonna, we're gonna change the pads today. All right, so these are the same pads that are on the car currently. The Power Stop Extreme Z26 is a little carbon ceramic material. And they work good too. They work pretty, pretty good. I fucks with them. The original Brembo pads are super, super dusty. Like, obviously, if you have the Brembos with the stock pads, you know how brake dust get on your wheels and stuff like that. These have a lot less brake dust. That's why I run them. Plus, they're good pads too. And Brembo brake pads are probably some of the easiest and fastest to change. It's extremely simple. Check this out. So, all you gotta do, boom, knock out these two pins, take this clip off, and then undo this one bolt. Both pads slide out, slide new ones in, new clip, new pins, bolt, done. Shout out to Demon Performance for these rotors. If you're looking for a step up from the stock uh, Brembo rotors, these ones are the way to go. They're a lot lighter than stock ones too, so a little uh, weight reduction. All right, so he just pulled the front one. As you can see, not too bad. Still got life in it, but it's kind of cracked and need to replace them anyway. So these are the new ones. Freshen him up a little bit. The rear ones are obviously going to have the most wear because I'm left foot braking a lot, doing a bunch of burnouts and stuff. So they're getting heated and worked a lot more than the front ones are. Another really cool thing about the power stop pads, they come with all new pins and clips and shit. You don't have to reuse the old stuff. It's all beat up and covered in gunk. Like, as you can see, it's the old stuff covered in brake dust and dirt. He knocked the fronts out, fronts are all done. Now it's time to see what these rear pads look like because I know they're gonna be, <laughs> gonna be a little crazy. So this is an old one he just pulled out. It looks like there was a rock or some shit stuck in there. There's like a fat groove. No idea what that's from. Obviously, you know what the new ones look like but it's been through I don't know how many burnouts and left foot braking and all type of stuff so definitely time for some new pads surprisingly they still had some life left in them I mean that groove is pretty fast still <laughs> look at all of the rubber Jesus I need four fender liners if anyone has some 
I need all four sides. Let me know. So now the easy part's over. Hard part is trying to bed them in correctly. You can really fuck up your brakes if you don't bed them in correctly. There's a, a list of steps you gotta do. You gotta go from like 40 to 10, like five different times, 30 to 10, four different times, and then cool them off for five minutes. And we're gonna go try to bed these things in correctly. All right, so I'm on Power Stop's website, getting the list of the, the right procedure that you need to do. So it says five moderate stops from 40 to 10 in a rapid uh, session and then you do 35 to 5 miles an hour five times rapidly and then drive for five minutes let's try and do this <laughs> all right so we gotta go 40 to 10 Stop either. I'm go to ten. Not supposed to make a complete stop, so this is kind of difficult. <laughs> Forty to ten. All right. Do one more of those. All right. Now we got to do the thirty-five. You're not supposed to sit at a stop pressing the brakes. Throw it in neutral, come up to the, to the stop, and roll up there. All right, now we're gonna go the 35s. This is not the best road to do this on. Did my little bed-in procedure, did five 40 to 10s, 35 to 10 five times as well. And then now I'm driving around trying to cool these things off and not stop at a damn stoplight, which is extremely difficult to do in the city. And they definitely feel like they work better than the other ones. The other ones are like super heat soaked and glazed over and they've done a lot of 150 to zero stops let's just say that so huge shout out to city alignment concord once again for hooking me up um if you guys need any type of work in the bay area city alignment concord does a lot more than alignments and suspension and stuff like that so if you have any type of mechanical question or need hit them up because chances are they'll be able to do it for you anyway got a damn check engine light and i'll tell you guys about that when i get to the house but damn check engine light if you guys haven't noticed in the past couple videos when i was at winter jam drifting this thing i've had the check engine light since before winter jam and that is because the active valves in this exhaust went bad i'm not sure if it's the sensor or the actuator in the valve went bad anyway um my guys at city alignment just like i was saying they do more than alignments and suspension stuff they uh, took the springs out of the actuator and welded them open because there was a long, probably like two weeks where I was driving around and it just sounded like an aerosol can because the valves were stuck stuck closed and it, it, it sounded horrible. It, it sounded like this. Let me find an aerosol can. It sounded like there's just air getting squeezed out of uh, that that sounded kind of bad <laughs> but you know there's air being blocked from coming out so they welded the valve open but that produced the check engine light anyway I think that can be tuned out by overkill so I'm gonna probably go up to overkill have them tune out that uh, active valve so I won't have a check engine light but if that ever happens to you guys where the valves get stuck closed or anything like that those things are expensive take the spring out weld the valve open because the only time that those valves open is if you're in track mode or if you're at full throttle it doesn't really open if you're in default mode uh, parked or something like that so cold starts sound better normal starts sound better and it just sounds better all the way around anyway huge shout out to my guys at city alignment always taking care of me Thank you guys. Really appreciate you. But that's pretty much going to be the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, hit the bell, thumbs up, all that stuff. Oh, and I forgot forgot to say, 
the brake pads feel a whole lot better. <laughs> Make sure you go to hellofclothing.com if you'd like to support the channel. I'd appreciate it. Deuces. We're in Las Vegas, Big Free Lane for Fox Television. Ricky Bobby, today's big winner. A heck of a win for you today, but it seems as you can either win or crash the car trying to win. Well, Dick, here's the deal. I'm the best there is, plain and simple. I mean, I wake up in the morning, I piss excellence. Yeah, and yeah, nobody can hang with my stuff. Uh, you know, I'm just a just a big, hairy American winning machine. If you ain't first, the bumper you're last. kind of good there, you know, my guy. You know what I'm talking about? That phrase, trademark, not the best there is for Ricky Bobby. They didn't see nothing.